Welcome to X UK. Welcome back guys, I'm um, just going to give you a quick update on the GTR. So front, front fenders, front bumper pieces, front bumper, front splitter, three piece and front lip. All being sanded down, primed, ready for paint. So the next process or the next step is for us to put some guide coat onto these parts, sand them down. I normally use 500 grade sandpaper and then I move my way up to 800 so I get a nice finish on my paint and then we'll show you a, the next video will be us base coating and painting lacquering these parts but yeah to take the bumper off strip it all down as the car was previously wrapped and um, we never painted the bumper so I needed to plastic primer and uh, 2k primer the bumper this is what you see here everything else is just 2k primer because they're GRP parts. So if you have a look on some of these parts, when, when I'm filling and sanding, I can't see a lot of problems that are, are there and they're hiding. And the reason behind that is, is the parts one color, the fiberglass is one color, the body filler is one color. And when you have loads of different colors, it's like a, a world map. You can't tell what's going on. It doesn't matter how close you look or what guide coat you use, you just still can't see it. So if you look here, there's a, a hole here. It's a hole in the fiberglass that we applied on the edges to perfect and you can see that that needs a, a bit more fiberglass. So what I'll do now is before I flat, flat these parts down by uh, sanding them, I'll apply the fiberglass in the areas where I've got imperfections. Because again, when I sand, sand these parts down, the dust goes into the crevices and the little holes and me visually thinking, oh, everything's okay. And then when I start painting, first layer, I see a hole and then we're in trouble. We can't go backwards. It's not too late, but it becomes more difficult. So parts are primed. Next thing to do is sand them down, paint them and uh, I will start the rear on the GTR. Mind the mess and watch yourself. GTR is looking like it's in a sorry state. It isn't really, just covered with a lot of dust. Any of you GTR owners, I don't know if you've took your bumper off yourselves, but have you noticed certain parts are rusting? Comment below, let me know if there's any other parts I need to look out for. And I'm not doing a bolt restoration, but when I'm taking a bumper off and looking at this car, I, I own this car. I don't want to see rust. And uh, yeah, I'll take that off. I'll get it powder coated. I can't see anything else. That's an issue. Well, it's just a very dusty in here. It's been a, a couple of years. So your parts will get sanded. They'll get base coat and lacquered. So that will be a full front wing, both sides, fenders in the US, front bumper. And then I've seen a few stone chips on the bonnet, so what I'm gonna do is flat this down, primer it, paint it. So all the front end is fresh. And then I'll have to PPF it. So if there's any companies out there that could PPF my car for me, and we could collaborate, comment below or tag them. Really appreciate it. Moving to the back, rear panels haven't been touched since the parts have come out of the moulds. Not much to do on these, it's just sand the surface down. Sort this edge out here, there's a bit of a gap. Back bumper, there was a, a little crease here, like a joint line when the bumper were manufactured. That's been sorted. And you just take the wrap off. And I'm thinking of doing all the carbon fibre on the car, side skirts, rear, front lip. I'm wanting to colour code it all because truth is I damaged, fuck off, I damaged the front lip and that's carbon. I can't be bothered making another one. 
So I'm just going to paint everything because when I go on these road trips to Europe and abroad, if I have any problems, I'd rather give it to somebody locally and, and get the bumper and the, get their carbon bits painted. So let me know what you think. Should I paint the carbon blue, same colour as the car, or should I leave it? I find that when a car's got a body kit on and the bottom section of it's a different shade or a different colour or light and dark, it makes the car look a bit skinny. I like the car to look big and thick, meaty, like a pit bull. This is what the car looks like. It looks like a bully, but it won't, it won't when it, all the bottom end's black. So yeah, comment below, let me know what you think. Should I leave the carbon or should I paint it? It might, uh, what I want to do is what I've told you. I want to paint it and have a full car that's color coded. So next video, sanding down the parts, painting them, and another video will be us sorting out the back end, making it perfect. So the car will be ready soon. So like, share, subscribe, and comment below. And uh, if there's anything you want us to add to our content, let us know and we'll be more than happy to, to add it. On to the next one. <laughs>